Hey everyone, these are business truck regular 1974 Lincoln cents from Coinas collection. One truck in Philadelphia, other in Denver. Both are at brown, circulated, very fine conditions, as you can see. In 1974, US Mint struck over 4 billion pennies in Philadelphia. So 1974 Bill Lincoln cent can still be found in circulation. Examples up to MS66 are very common. Only examples grading MS67 or higher are scarce. At mid stage 68, they are worth over $6,500, with only three specimens reported by PCGS and none sold so far. This is 1974 Lincoln Sand at mid stage 67 plus red, flaming chair red toning covers the frosty, supremely lustrous surfaces of this captivating example. Coin is virtually free from mentionable abrasions, sold for $2,937.50 at Stax Powers. The 1974 D. Lincoln Sand is very common as well, the mean struck over 4.2 billion examples. Every Lincoln Sand collector can own many of them, in circulated grades up to MS66. They make no difficult to locate. In MS67 they are much scarcer overall. In MS68 or higher they are considered rare. The most expensive regular specimen was sold in 2016. This penny at mid stage 67 plus red grade, with potent peach orange luster, ended up selling for over $477 at heritage auctions. But there is one rare 1974 penny variety that's illegal both to own and sell in US territory. I'm talking about 1974 aluminum cent at any condition, whether circulated or at mint state. It is estimated to have value at minimum 250000 up to $2 million or possibly more. There is only one confirmed 1974 aluminum cent held in public hands, but it's estimated there can be still several specimens secretly held by penny collectors and not only by US nationals. One of such owners is penny collector from my country, who owns wide range of rare pennies including 1943 bronze, 1944 steel and 1974 aluminum cents. This is a very exclusive video, you won't find any footage of 1974 cent on YouTube other than those allowed by US Mint. Now a little background story on why this pen is so valuable. Due to copper price rise, US Mint decided to do some experiments on new planchets. The prevailing idea was to make pennies from aluminum. They struck more than 1.5 billion new aluminum pennies in 1973 for intended release in 1974. Opposition to the plan, however, was immediate. It had some medical reasons as well. An aluminum coin might be undetectable if child ingested one. The coin might appear indistinguishable from human tissue on the image. The mint recalled the aluminum coins, however, a small portion were never returned probably totaling 12 to 14 coins. These few pieces have remained hidden and unsold, therefore their value remains obscure. In 1974, this specimen was found in January 2014 by a Randall Lawrence, who said it was a retirement gift to his father, Harry Edmund Lawrence, who was deputy superintendent at the Denver Mint. Randall planned on selling it on public auction, but the Mint demanded its return, saying that the coin was never authorized for release and therefore remains US government property. Lawrence ultimately surrendered the coin when the Mint showed that aluminum cent had never been authorized to be struck in Denver and there was no evidence that the coin had been a gift of any kind. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Take care.